Hello everyone and welcome to my reaction to the season one finale of Fallout. Norm, you are not going to die in this hour of television right here. I am in no mood. You're going to be brave. You're going to be strong. You're going to figure some shit out. But you will not die. I will have none of it. None of it. I'm speaking it into the universe and kind of hoping that it works. Okay? Is it going to work? Listen, I know some of you really love my reactions where I cry, where I get emotional. But not today. Not with Norm. Let's go. Really set up shop. Where's your knife? He's dead. This is not the first time a brother in your company has fallen into misfortune. Well. Is it? I fear you lied then. Oh, oh shit. Just as you lie now. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Oh, no. Please listen to me. I can get you the little head. I didn't think Lord, this would go me. well. Please, Lord. My injury was my own doing, not his. Please. Please, I know where the head is. For the sake of the brotherhood, please listen to me. I was not thinking that. I guess to get out of going to the wasteland. I get it. You think you're the first squire who coveted his knight's armor? Hmm. How did Titus die? He died running. <sighs> running his mouth! <laughs> lost his way. And together, you and I, we will take power. And with it, we will start a new brotherhood with me as its head and the likes of you as its sword. Oh! Oh! finally get everything you ever wanted. But do you really want it anymore? Powerful stuff. Okay! I love you. Love you too. Oh! <laughs> Good to see you, buddy. Transmitter is always activated. Well, maybe take it over to the boys in IT. Have them take a look. No. I can fix it myself. I just need to figure out where the Pip-Boy is trying to transmit to. I'm, I'm heading out. I promised Jane that I would teach her some roping. I don't have kids myself, but I do have a training program for up-and-coming executives, and that's basically the same thing. <laughs> I imagine Barb talking about it. Well, I call it Buds Buds. The basic idea is that the biggest Buds Buds. achievement has been the brand for day to day. Yeah. Good luck. You know, I don't like that guy, but I kind of like his car. It's snug. Uh oh. You're gonna have to go in. Cooper spy. Cooper spy. Cooper's gonna spy on his wife. <laughs> Wow! 
Dinner with a view. Oh! Lucy. Dad. Hi, Hank. It's my turn to host, isn't it? I was gonna walk in here and blow everybody up. But that's not really how I was raised. I'm gonna keep things civil. Well, okay. Also, look at this spread. Friend, just like he asked. She know Lucy was coming. <laughs> Please give me my dad back. Very well. But first, what if I tell you how I know your father? Who he really is? Oh! No, Lucy. Oh, I had a feeling. Don't listen. You think your father was born in a vault? Like you. Like your brother. Oh, buckle up. It's happening. <gasps> Norm! What if people are still alive on the surface? They'll be Stone Age creatures probably eat whoever steps out of your vaults. That isn't an issue. Our vaults have the resources to survive for centuries. Meanwhile, our competitors, you know, every other human who isn't us, will be dead on the surface. Because after all, what is the ultimate weapon of mass destruction? Time. Time is the apex predator, and in the event of an incident, time is the weapon with which we will defeat all of our enemies. That is how we will win the great game of capitalism, not by outfighting anyone, but by outliving them. Even if you outlive all external threats. <laughs> When I think about the future, I don't know that she's going to set them straight. I think about my daughter. Okay. Janie. Good How start. How do I provide her with a better future? I am the overseer here. My orders must be followed. Why isn't this working? This is conflict resolution 101. Where's the rest of the vault? <laughs> this is the rest of the vault. Is this where my dad's from? You'll never find out. Oh, he's gonna find out. <laughs> that was funny. <gasps> These are Bud's Buds. <gasps> America outsourced the survival of this country to the private sector, but it would have been insane to keep a failed nation alive. So That's Bud's we brain? Alive instead. A well trained staff of highly supervised junior executives my own assistant training program. Because the future of humanity comes down to one word. Management. Bud here has an idea for 
three interconnected vaults. We have over a hundred vaults spread across America. Enough for each of you to claim several where you can play out your own ideas for how to create the perfect conditions for humanity. No one needs to know. And may the best idea win. Say what now? So what's vault 32 and 33? Just people to be controlled? We could intentionally overcrowd a vault so people have to compete to survive inside it. We have been developing a robot that delivers milk to the front door. What about using a vault to develop a super mutant soldier using illegal immigrants? We could pump psychotropic like drugs into the air supply. We could separate parents and children and only the sort of kids reach adulthood. I... It's a fun idea. A lot of earning potential with the end of the world. How can you guarantee results? By dropping the bomb ourselves. Whoa. What? What? I, I. A nuclear event would be a tragedy. I don't have words. But also an opportunity. Perhaps the greatest opportunity in history. Bar! When we are the only ones left, there will be no one to fight. You're kidding me. Mr. Howard. You're kidding me. Huge fan. I am Henry just so Henry taken up. Oh my god! Oh my god! Your father has been around for a very long time. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness part of an organization that thought they had the answers to all the world's problems. Will you shoot Joey Toro in the face? Feel fuerte y formal. This is okay, our Hank. chance. We have conflict and we have war. And war, well, war never changes. I'm sorry, I'm not saying anything insightful. You said you could give me an autograph? I'm just stunned. The Hank is not what it seems. Wait, Dane, they're sending you? Punishment related to myself. Hey, I was just scared of going in the wilds. I had no idea they'd blame you for it. I'm sorry. That's what I figured. Don't be. I was meant to go on that mission. I've met someone. But right now she's walking into danger. I'm leaving with her. I am going back to where she came from. Oh. A vault. It's a place that's peaceful and safe. And nobody ever goes to war. He's so hopeful. There's nowhere safe, Max. And there's no leaving. I wish there was. Oh, Maximus, if you do find a way out of this fuckery, I hope you take your friend. I just don't know that that happily ever after is going to be possible. Lucy, your mother discovered that something was siphoning the vault's water away. From that one clue, she deduced that maybe Civilization had returned to the surface. Huh. When she told her husband, he said it was a ridiculous idea and that she should tell no one. Lucy, let's go. I'm let's sure he did, Hank. That her husband, the overseer, was hiding things. Lucy, let's go. Let's get out of here. So she ran away took her children and she found this wonderful city that was everything the vaults had promised she is lying and when she decided not to return home he 
to her children, and he burned that city to the ground. <gasps> Shady Sanders. Oh! Oh! That's how Hank! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness! Hank! What you brought me is cold fusion. It's limitless energy. And we can build She's a murderer. our own world. Look it, it could be a better world. It has she clean water and medicine and power. But for everyone. Lucy. Because when she killed bought my our research, people. this is a lot proprietary. So only a trusted vault tech minion Do not can activate listen cold fusion to her. Lucy! I know I made the right choice. Hank. 
tank. Just take it down a notch. I don't think she's picking up what you're putting down. Oh, love. It's the problem with the world is factions endlessly fighting, endlessly at war. Then what is the solution but to get rid of the factions? That's what you close to my heart. Oh, stick together. Very reminiscent of the first episode fight scene, but I feel on a bigger scale. I bet that outfit makes y'all feel like a big man, don't it? Oh, boy! Well, I know, cause... Well, I used to wear one back in the day. There was only one problem with it. There was a flaw. I wonder if they fix that in this new model. Oh! Oh! Cooper has I entered. That was insane. That was insane! Hank, she is, she's checked out. She's, she's processing and checked out at the same time. She's got a bubble of boundaries and you're not getting through. Maximus lived. Lucy! Good. Lucy, I'm her father. Can you get us out of here? Oh, Hank. Oh, Hank! Lucy, let's go. Come on. Hank, we get me out of here. No, not with him. Why not with him? What do you mean? Because it was him. What? It was him. What was him? Shady sacks. No, oh, no. Oh, no. This is messy. This is messy. Hank, you might want to bibbity bobbity boop on out of there. Lucy, you're coming with me. Oh my goodness! This place does to me. I'm your father, Lucy. You came all this way for me. And you are not the man she thought you were. You're not gonna hurt me. Shit. 
Holy shit! You look out at this wasteland, it looks like chaos. But there's always somebody behind the wheel. And that's who I want to talk to. That's where your daddy is headed. But you let him go. Well, it's easier to track a stuck pig than to ask you where it's off to. Sure. You want to know how I know your daddy, don't you? Let's just say that everything about your whole little world was decided over 200 years ago. Now, you can stay here with him, but when his tin can soldier friends take this place, and they won't take this place. They will kill you and everybody here. Or you could come meet your makers. Okay. Intriguing offer. Oh. That was a badass okie dokie. That was said with power. <laughs> oh, love, you're up. Lucy. Oh. Oh, my heart. We did it, Rose. Oh. your brotherhood would do with infinite power? Good question. Maybe you can stop them. Maybe you can't. Maybe all you can do is try. That is a so stunning sight in this world. You killed her. No, dang. All hail Maximus! Let shall be night hereafter! All hail Maximus! All hail There's a good girl. We're Dog me. What a team. My echo that shines above. It's my oh, shadow. beginning to the Lion King. I talk even till he turns I assume that's an important place that people who play the video games and know the lore know, but I'm unfamiliar and don't yell at me. Well, that was quite the finale. They really packed a punch with just about every aspect of this finale. I'm gonna try to touch on everything, but if for some reason I missed something, I do apologize. There was just a lot to take in, <laughs> in all honesty. Let's start off with my dear beloved Norm, which I started off this reaction uh, insisting that he doesn't die. And, um, okay, did he die? No. Is he in a pretty bad situation? Yes. And you know what? I had a feeling that him seeking the truth 
treading, as some might say, was going to lead to him, you know, in being put into a terrible situation. Um, you know, uh, if he gets into his father's pod, I don't even know if that means we'll even see him in the next season. I mean, I certainly, obviously hope that something happens and we get to see Norm in the next season and it's not like he's going to be MIA for a hot second. Because um, I feel as though he's going to get into the pod if that is his only choice. Um, or... or starve to death, and I would not like his fate to be just starving to death. Um, or maybe he could find some other way out of there. I don't know. I don't know that it's possible, but, um, it's a, it's an odd uh, fate for his character for me because, um, I'm happy that he didn't die. Not happy about the situation that he's in and that it there is a possibility that he might not be in the next season. And I'm not I'm not down for that. I loved watching him throughout this season. So I would not be happy with that at all. Um okay. There Okay. I do have a question. And I want to apologize if for some reason I just missed something or if she said it and I th there was a lot to take in in this episode. So I will completely, you know, um, admit to the fact that it's possible that I just missed something. But I'm not entirely sure how Moldaver lived as long as she did. Now, hilariously, and I believe it was episode six reaction where we saw her in the past. I made a comment about her possibly like, I don't know if it's really like freezing herself or whatever, because we saw um, the, the pregnant women in that episode kind of being sort of frozen, um, so to speak. I don't know if that's really the technical term, but you know what I mean. Um, and so I made a comment that that might be how she survived that long because she didn't seem a ghouly, you know. So I'm, I'm sorry if I missed her saying it, but I feel like she's a very intelligent woman, even if she wasn't one of the, you know, buds buds in the vault there, uh, she probably could have found a way to get into that, or maybe she was even forcibly put into, I don't know, I don't know. But um, please let me know if I just missed something and they explained that. I just wanted to say that. Um, I really do try my best to pay attention to everything in these episodes, but I feel like I missed that. So I apologize. Um, as much as that was my theory, at the end of episode six, which I did, I thought it, and then I said, that's stupid, so I'm not gonna really claim that theory. <laughs> I, uh, I went against it pretty quickly, but it's just, you know, you watch a lot of sci-fi stuff, there's a lot of, like, hypersleep and that type of, you know, technology that I was like, I guess that's a possibility here. I was not expecting that reveal in Vault 31. That is not... Uh, 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 uh. And I literally like screamed when I saw Hank, Henry, back in time with Cooper. Holy shit. And now I want to go back to the episode because I know Henry called the house uh, in one of these episodes. Um, to see if it sounded like Kyle McLaughlin. You would think I would recognize the voice, but I I didn't put that together. So that was an impeccably 
done twist and just everything. What a payoff with Vault 31 and all of that. I, I found that all very fascinating, even though I am highly worried for Norm. Obviously. Um, but let's talk about the things that really, really shook me to my core. Now, did I want Cooper to spy on his wife? I did. Did I think that there was a little something more there? That she knew a little bit more than she was uh, letting on? Sure. Did I suspect that there was something a little iffy with Hank? Yes. Yes. I had that thought. There were too many people in that one episode. What was it? Episode four or episode three? I think it was episode four. I forget which one. But there were too many people being like, D your father's a great man. He's wonderful. Everything he does the right thing all the time. whoop de doop de doo and so, I, yes, I was expecting something to be a little off. I'd be like, I don't know about you, Hank. But on both of those characters, I was stunned, shocked. I have to say, um, probably terrible reactions to those scenes because I was just like, I, I couldn't even form words. I was just like... What am I watching right now? Just the, first of all, the scene, the flashback scene with Cooper spying on his wife. It, all of it was a lot. The way that they talked so candidly about possibly experimenting on people and all of this stuff. I was just like, what in the world? Like, I understand that these are not, um, you know, the morally... The, the representatives of good morals and all of that, but it was just so shocking to just see them talk so candidly like that. So already I was stunned. I was already there. And then Miss Barb, Miss Barb, she says, let's drop the bomb ourselves. And I, I mean... I was just so just taken aback by that, which I guess I shouldn't be surprised because, I mean, it seemed like they really wanted to profit off of the end of the world, so to speak. But that was a lot. That was a lot. And then, and then we get to the Hank scene. We get to the Hank scene where he was the one who destroyed Shady Sands. Like, as I said, was I thinking there was going to be something off with Hank? That he wasn't going to be entirely the guy that, you know, Lucy and Norm knew as their father? Sure. But I didn't think it was going to be all that. I didn't think it was going to be that crazy. I mean, holy shit. Holy shit. And this is going to sound probably not good. I don't know how it's going to sound, but I am glad he didn't die. I'm sorry. I am a fan of Kyle MacLachlan. I'm a fan of Kyle MacLachlan playing a good guy, an in-between, or a bad guy. And I am here for all of it. So yes, I, I wanted him to, to live. I'm sorry. I know I shouldn't be saying that, but I wanted him to, to get through it. Like to see you for season two, sir. And you, Norm, but I'm, you know, that's another, <sighs> a whole other thing. Um, but just, oh my goodness. And it, I have to say a couple of really great acting moments within all of that were the people on the receiving end of these harsh truths. Uh, Walton Goggins, when he heard his wife say that, when he was spying on her, talking about, we'll drop the bombs ourselves or whatever, he looked, how do I say this? Deader 
than he's ever looked as the ghoul. You know what I mean? That was life being drained from him. And very similar with Lucy. Phenomenal performance. It, and it was like, you could tell that she was processing, but also sort of like numb in that moment. It, it's like you're taking it all in, but you're also checking out. You're like, it, it, it was a very beautiful performance there. And I was just stunned by that. It was brilliant. And yet Hank kept, he kept yapping, he kept talking. And I was like, Hank, I don't know. I, I don't know that you're going to get through to her. I understand why he was trying. If I was in the same situation, I would probably do the same, to be fair. I wouldn't commit mass murder, but I would try to get out of the cage, you know, if I was in. Um, and also Maximus, his story here was quite interesting to really be given what he desired from the beginning and for that to not necessarily be what he desires anymore. And I do truly hope that him and Lucy reunite in the next season. Um, Absolutely, but I don't know what that's going to look like and what's going to happen, you know, in between now and when they do reunite. Oh, wow. I mean, it's just all so well done. And I guess I want to end these thoughts with um, just another little discussion about the tone. I think they scaled back the comedy. In this episode, I talked about e even in the last reaction that I love the mixture of the comedic moments, but also some very serious moments and they balance it very well that it doesn't seem, you know, disingenuous or anything like that. I truly love that. I am really blown away that they were able to scale back the comedy a bit. There was a couple, there was a couple little moments, gave me a little chuckle, you know, but they said, nope, we're going to smack you with, um, reality and not in a jokey way. And I think because of that, it had a phenomenal impact that we all felt. Or at least I felt. I won't speak for everybody. All right. I think that's about it. I want to say thank you so, so much to everybody who enjoyed these reactions. I had a wonderful time going through this show. And I'm just so grateful for all of your support. Um, so, yeah. Thank you so much. And... I hope you enjoyed them. All right. If you would like to support me on Patreon or subscribe, I would really appreciate it. But if not, I'm just happy that you are here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time.